Health officials say they are concerned that a measles outbreak here in Franklin County could spread. Well, this week we learned four children at a Columbus area daycare tested positive for the virus. 10 TV's Lindsay Mills is here now with the information parents need to know about the vaccine and why it's not too late to protect your child if they've been exposed to this. This is scary. This is something mm. that was eradicated a long time ago. Right, it is scary. And I know you were reporting on this last night as well. So we're following up on this today, Yolanda and Andrew. Doctors say measles is highly contagious and that's why they want to get the word out. If you are a parent that's been putting this off, now is the time to get back on track with your child's immunizations. A measles outbreak at a Columbus area daycare. Four kids are sick, all under the age of three and eligible for a vaccine. It sounds like there was um, a decision made by these families not to get their child vaccinated until they absolutely had to when they entered school. The CDC recommends all children get two doses of the MMR vaccine. The first dose is given 12 through 15 months of age. The second dose at four through six years of age. We know that in Ohio that not all children are getting the MMR vaccine. And that's a concern, according to Dr. Chris Peltier, president of the Ohio chapter of the Academy of Pediatrics. Measles is very highly contagious. Um, it can spread very, very quickly. Leaving unvaccinated children, kids with compromised immune systems, or babies simply not old enough to be vaccinated yet, vulnerable to infection. The message tonight, the MMR vaccine is safe and it's not too late for your child to get the shot. If you have a child or a family member that has not received vaccine against measles um, and they are exposed to a somebody that, that has a known case of measles, if you get the vaccine within 72 hours or three days, there is a very good chance that that vaccine will protect against developing measles. Um, I was surprised to hear that today. Here yeah. in Ohio, we're told pediatricians see a gap in the number of children who are eligible for the vaccine but have not been vaccinated yet. They say that the gap has lessened since mm -hmm. the pandemic started in 2020 when that shut down everything like doctor's offices. But when it comes to getting that immunization schedule on track, parents are still catching up. Mm. OK, and Lindsay, what are the signs to look out for? So this one's tricky because it seems like every kid right now has a cough, mm -hmm. but cough, um, runny nose and then obviously that rash. That's like the telltale sign that you might need to call your pediatrician. But either way, don't hesitate. If you have any questions or concerns, contact your pediatrician. All right, important to know. Thanks, Lindsay.